Hi, my name is Dan Hammer and this video series is about the emerging science linking Alzheimer's and cardiovascular disease. Over the past 10 years, this disease has become the number one fear of the baby boomer generation for two specific reasons. First, we've had to care for loved ones who have slowly lost their mental clarity. And in our care for them, we have directly experienced the emotional, financial, social, and physical costs this disease has had in fragmenting loving relationships. Second, we don't want to personally experience the loss of cognitive function and become a burden to our family. The other sad reality is that currently there is no known cure for Alzheimer's. Once you have it, it's a progressively disabling disease that will result in death. Pretty depressing until you understand the following. The cure lies in prevention. That's right. You have the power to make a significant difference in how this disease affects you as well as the people around you. There is enough research and clinical data to positively demonstrate that if you properly care for your cardiovascular system, you will substantially reduce your risk for Alzheimer's and many other diseases. With the rising cost of health care, it's time to implement low-cost, natural, preventative strategies that will significantly improve your health and wellness while potentially reducing the devastating financial burden of Alzheimer's and other cardiovascular related illnesses. While I can't promise that if you follow the plan of action outlined in these videos, you will be free of this dreaded disease, I do believe I can help you substantially reduce your risk. Not only can you lower your risk, but you can also empower others to lower theirs. Prevention today will help you clearly enjoy vibrant health and mental clarity in the future. Now, with that said, let's get into some specific details. According to the National Institute on Aging, about 5 million Americans have Alzheimer's disease. It's the most common cause of dementia amongst older adults. Dementia is the loss of cognitive function, which includes thinking, remembering, and reasoning to the extent that it interferes with your daily life and activities. One recent study from the World Health Organization warned that Alzheimer's could affect 100 million people worldwide by the year 2050. That's 39 years away, so you might think this doesn't apply to you. Not until you consider the following statement from the National Institute on Aging. Although we still don't know what starts the Alzheimer's disease process, we do know that damage to the brain begins as many as 10 to 20 years before any problems are evident. It is for this very reason why prevention is so critical to your future cognitive health. If your age is 30 or 40 now, you will be aged 70 or 80 by 2050. Since Alzheimer's disease is an irreversible, progressive brain disease that slowly destroys your memory and thinking skills, wouldn't it make sense now to prevent it from showing up during your later years in life? The health of your cardiovascular system is one of the keys to prevention. According to the Harvard School of Medicine, growing evidence supports a strong and likely casual association between cardiovascular disease and its risk factors with incidence of cognitive decline in Alzheimer's disease. Individuals with subclinical cardiovascular disease are at higher risk for dementia and Alzheimer's. Several cardiovascular risk factors are also risk factors for dementia including hypertension, high LDL cholesterol, low HDL cholesterol, and especially diabetes. The substantial overlap in risk factors points to new avenues for research and prevention. In the October 2010 issue of the Cleveland Clinic Journal of Medicine, Dr. David S. Geldmacher, in his article on Alzheimer's disease prevention, makes the following key points. Vascular risk factors clearly increase the risk of Alzheimer's disease and can be addressed. Risk is lower with a diet high in antioxidants 
and polyunsaturated fatty acids. And physical activity in midlife and in late life was associated with a lower risk of Alzheimer's disease in observational studies. In our next video, we'll look at the science and natural methods you can take to lower your risk for this cognitive disease. Our goal will be to help you develop a cost-effective, natural approach that can make a significant impact in all aspects of your overall wellness. If you have any questions about this information or need to contact me, then please either email me or call me directly. My contact information is listed on the screen. Or contact the person who turned you on to this video series. We're part of a team whose mission is to save a million lives. Thank you for your time, and I'll see you in the next video as I specifically share with you the science and natural methods you can use to improve your cardiovascular system and reduce your potential risk for Alzheimer's.